Hey everyone, so seeing as my Snapchat hacks video was really useful to you guys, I thought I'd make one for Instagram. Now, Instagram has kind of been outshined by Snapchat lately, but there's still a lot of hacks that I bet you guys didn't know. Now, the first hack is actually about your own photos, so I'm just kind of like exposing my own Instagram account, but that's perfectly fine. Um, if I like a photo, right? But, um, like, if a photo ha got a lot of likes, but you just personally don't like the photo and it doesn't match your theme, or perhaps you're just embarrassed of the photo, you can easily archive it. And when you archive a photo, um, Instagram stores it here. See, for example, this is one post, and it won't show up on your feed. Nobody else can see it, but you still have it. And if you want the photo back, you can click Show on Profile, and it'll be back. And I find this feature really handy because there's a lot of photos on my account that got a lot of likes, but I don't think they match my theme. So it's best just for me to archive them, and I can find them whenever I want, and I find it really easy. Now, the second um, important hack that I'm doing is about login errors. So if you've ever faced any login errors on Instagram, except for um, the username and password is incorrect because... Um, you actually need to have your email and your phone number set up. But if you're having login errors, like, sorry, there's a problem with your request or anything like that, I have the perfect solution for it. Now, as you can see, this is a very common login error that I faced on my phone. There's so many of my friends who are also facing this login error, and it's really, really easy to fix. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it over with, and it's really fast. It took me actually a lot of days to find out the solution for this login error and it was really irritating because I couldn't access my Instagram or any other social media but I'll show you guys. Now the first step is to press dismiss once you get that notification and you click get help signing in and you use the username or email right? Now at this point you'll type in your username and then you'll like once you've typed in your username I don't want to type in my username because then my email will come up and I don't want people randomly emailing me and I don't want to get logged out either because um, it was really hard to get in in the first place but once you put in your username or your email um, they'll send a email to your email account and you'll get this notification and it'll be like um, Instagram like reset your password on Instagram and then it'll come up right and there'll be like this huge notification saying log me in and you just click that and it's automatically logged you in to your Instagram right so um, pretend you don't have your email set up um, if you don't have your email set up on your account and you think you're doomed you're not um, if you're having login errors um, it tends to really be on one device so go on another device set up your email or like um, use somebody else's phone and set up your email and then you can easily just log in If you're still having login difficulties, then it's best just to make another account because it might be that Instagram actually blocked your account and not your IP address. Um, most people facing login errors actually have their IP address blocked and it's really irritating because then you have to get all these apps and you have to go in the browser and you can't DM anyone. And like, I think for the most part, Instagram is really about direct messages and like, nobody really does much else on it, so... The third Instagram hack is about insights. Now, not a lot of people know about this because not a lot of people do this. But as you can see, insights are really handy because now I know when my followers are on. So if I post at 6 a.m., I won't get very many likes. But if I post at 9 p.m., I'll get a lot of likes. So it's really handy because um, a lot of people are on at certain times. So when you post, like you'll get tons of likes at a certain hour. So you know exactly when to post. Um, Instagram Insights, this isn't an app by the way, this is within Instagram itself. Right, so I can see how many of my followers are men and how many of my followers are women. Um, it's about like the same, but uh, like a 7% difference I guess. Um, that's perfectly fine. Um, and I can see how many followers I gained from the last week, I only gained 4. And I can see um, how old my followers are, and as you can see, most of my followers are between 18 to 24, after that 13 to 17, and I have very little elderly followers. Now, here's another interesting thing about my followers. They're mainly from the USA or from Ireland or from the United Kingdom. Um, very few are from India and Saudi Arabia. 
Um, I changed it from cities to countries because I didn't really want you guys to see my exact location. But um, you can change it to cities as well and see where your followers are actually living right now. Another follower count thing that's here is that most people are actually on Instagram on Wednesdays or on Tuesdays. So you're best off posting on Wednesdays or Tuesdays. And for me anyway, most of my followers are on these, these days. It might be different for you depending on your insights. So depending on what day your followers are on and what hour they're on, you should post within that amount of time and receive the most likes because your post will be on their feed. Um, I still wish Instagram was still in chronological order because it would be much easier with all this. But you're probably wondering how you access this. So this is really, really easy. Um, you go here to options. Now, um, there will be like business settings here. If you have a personal account um, and not a business one. Having a business account doesn't mean you actually have to conduct any kind of business or have to pay or anything. Um, this is like, I'm not going to switch back, but... To switch to a business account, you'll get this. You'll have to click here, but it'll, instead of saying switch back to personal, it'll just say switch to business. You click switch to business, and you can choose whatever like um, type you're doing. Like I chose personal blog. Most people just choose personal blog. It's much easier. You can see all your insights. You actually do get a lot of information from your insights. You can find out about your likes. You gain a lot more followers. And you can even promote your account. Like... You can do lots of different things. You can promote your posts. And I haven't promoted any of my posts yet. Um, I don't want to see the point in it. I'm not even sure if you have to pay or what. What the scheme is for that. But um, you can do lots of different things with your account. If you do to switch to a business profile. And you do get a lot more likes. And you do get a lot more insight. And Instagram app itself gives you way more insight than any other app would. So I find it really, really helpful. A third Instagram hack is basically how you can save a photo as a draft. Now, a lot of, not a lot of people know this, but if you're part of like the writing community on Instagram or you just have like a lot of editing to do on a post, then you can basically find it from your camera roll and do it and like you can save it, but you don't have to post it at that exact moment. You can save it as a draft. So I'll show you guys how to do that and how to delete any old draft that you have as well. So let's pretend this is the post that I want to save as a draft. Now first of all we're going to edit it a bit. So I like this filter and a lot of people actually don't know that there's like an edit option for Instagram. So I think this is very interesting because a lot of people don't quite understand it. You can actually like change your photo, like you can swipe it from side to side, give a whole new angle thing going on. And a lot of people don't know you can actually rotate your Instagram photos. Um, well you can. See it's like... It's hard with this one, you can't really tell that it's being rotated, but it is. It's going up, down, side to side here. So pretend we want it like this, okay, and we have it filtered. Um, we can also change the warmth. The warmth really adds, um, like, pinker tones to it, I don't know. After customizing the warmth um, on your photo, we can go back, we can change the color, and this really adds shadows, which is very helpful. Also, a thing that I apparently heard is that if you use blue shadows and blue highlights, your brain seems to like pick up blue um, better than other col colors, so you're, you tend to get more likes. Um, that's also something that I heard. Um, it's like similar to when you write in blue pen, it helps you remember things. People are more attracted to the color blue, I guess. Um, you can fade your photo. Um, these are basic things that you should already know. This is also something that people didn't know. You can make it look more vintage by using Big Net. Um, you can tilt shift it. I guess that's something interesting. There's a lot of features here that lots of people don't know about. And I think it's very helpful. You can even sharpen the image quality um, on your photo. So I really prefer it like this, right? Now pretend you want to post it now, okay? Um... I'll give it, uh, I don't know, caption. Okay, so now pretend you want to post it, right? Now, um, after you go back, right, it says this. Drafts let you save your edits so you can come back later. So you click save draft. Right? Now, after you have your draft, right, you click manage to. So I want to delete this draft because I don't want any more pretend, okay? So we click edit, and I'll select my draft, 
and I'll click because it's at discard now. I'll click done, and it'll discard my draft, and I have one draft left over. So basically, that's how you discard a draft, how you create a draft, and all about the Instagram editing tools. Um, I also showed you guys how to have an Instagram business profile. So I hope these hacks were useful and you actually learned something. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll try and compile another video. And tell me in the comments below what you'd like to see from me next.